Today we're working on the interior to wrap this car up. I had built out this custom gauge for an AEM CD5 digital display. That one had a hood and buttons on the side. And the hood was kind of meant for uh, placement of these outside of the factory gauge cluster. So it gave you a little bit of shade and whatnot. And it protruded just enough where it was hitting the glass here and it had the buttons on the side, which meant I wouldn't be able to access the menus on the screen without having to remove this glass. So it wasn't very conducive, but thankfully AEM does have a flush mount model, and that is this one right here. So as you can see, this one does not have that hood right here and doesn't have the buttons on the sides. They do, uh, what you need to do with this one is you need to install external buttons and I forgot to order those so they are on their way. I'm always missing little things here and there but now with this, it's going to mount up in here very seamlessly just as such and it's gonna look super clean. I also made an executive decision and I wanted to add a analog boost gauge and it's gonna go right here I figured, you know what, with the digital display, it's really great, you get a ton of information, but I wanna be able to see where my boost pressure is at at all times and just with a quick glance. And I find just sometimes an analog display seems to be the better and quicker way for your mind to just like quickly check in versus having to look on a screen like this that has a bunch of numbers. So I'm gonna install this here. After talking to Lawson at AM, he mentioned, hey, listen, I saw how you did all these uh, idiot, li idiot lights down here and you wanted to keep your ABS light, you wanted to keep your AYC light, all that jazz. Well, guess what? You can do that through the display on this. And I was like, wow, that's super cool. How do I do that? That's when he introduced me to his six channel CAN module and the 22 channel uh, CAN sensor module. Now these integrate seamlessly in between the CD5 dash and your ECU. And what they allow you to do now is take the, a wiring harness such as this, and what you're gonna do is wire in the signals like fuel level, like your AYC, like your ABS. I don't remember if I mentioned why I've got both six channel and 22 channel. The reason for the 22 is if the six doesn't have enough channels for me to integrate the AYC and ABS, I'll go to this, but if by chance I can get away with just six channels, I'll use this guy. Since this display is now redundant, what I'm gonna do is, I bought another one of these panels, I'm gonna take this and move this down a little bit so it centers it a little bit more and just gets rid of this display. So, without further ado, it is time to get down to work. There we have it. Man, I am loving this install. Looks super clean to me. I think I did a pretty good job. At first I thought I was gonna put the boost gauge here, but then moved it over there. 
And as always, those Milwaukee tools, man, they always come in handy. I love the cordless stuff now. It is so, so good. Forget air. The only thing I use air for now is just for uh, blowing stuff out. Wait just a second. Quick audible. I thought, you know what? Why not put the white base onto there and get rid of the glass? I don't need the glass because I've got the cover on it. So let me show you how that's gonna look now with everything put back together again. I think it's much better. I really do. I think it's gonna make it stand out more. It gives it more of like a racy feel with that white gauge there. Before I go down the rabbit hole of wiring up everything, I wanted to show you guys how the CD5 dash communicates with the ECU and how the CAN module is integrated into it. So right here, we've got the output from the Evo link and that runs up to this plug right here. And that runs all the way to our dash. Now, the other output on the dash is this wire right here and it comes down and connects into here. So from here, you can see this it would normally connect to the power wire that I have all the way down here. And now what I've done is I've spliced into this the CAN module. So that runs up into this CAN module here. So it's pretty seamless integration in that sense. And then from here, I'm gonna have to take a bunch of these wires and wire them into the plugs for the factory cluster. So TAC, AYC, ABS, those types of things are gonna all go into here, fuel level. And then that's gonna communicate through this wire back to the dash and display everything. So it's not complicated at all. Full disclosure here, I do not have the pinout for those cluster plugs. I've been looking far. I've looked at the Evo manual and I just can't seem to find it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install the dash right now, figure out, figure out where all of the units go, like where the CAN module goes, figure out the wiring and kind of like get everything in place. And then hopefully I'll get around to wiring that stuff up as soon as I get that information. Would you look at that? This car is starting to feel complete on the inside again. Granted, I just mocked some of this stuff up because I still need to do some wiring, but guys, it looks so awesome. I'm so pumped on the gauge cluster. The CD5 looks perfect with the boost gauge on the side. It is gonna be so good to rip. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested in any of the products mentioned in this video, by all means, check the video description. Make sure to give me a subscribe, give me a like, and check out Patreon, maybe throw us a couple bucks.